Hey guys! Last time we did Betraying the Martyrs on the channel, this dude absolutely loved them, and I discovered that the lead singer is Portuguese. Yeah. Because he, he dropped me he dropped me some lines. I was like, fuck, the dude is Portuguese? Wow, we're taking the world over, one band at a time. So the name of the song is Swan Song. The fucking guy is Portuguese, we have, to, we have to support our peeps. So we're here to check this out. Brand new song, brand new video from Betraying the Martyrs. Are you ready? By the way, yeah. one more thing before I click play. These guys are going to be performing at our home away from home at Dark River Festival this summer, August. I think it's 13, 14th, the days of the festival. Check out their socials. These guys are going to be there. And you guys at Dark River, you better treat my Portuguese boy right. Yeah. Give him some good food. Give him some... What's that drink that you like? The Long the drink. The, yeah, whatever that shit is. Give, give him tons of that shit after the show because you want to make sure uh, he holds his own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Definitely sauna. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the sauna with... Like, fuck. Treat him like as if he was me. I'm thinking that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's fucking go on this.
man, he was all like fucked up on the on the chair. That's like me after five Kai Give me another one. I can take one more. I can take one, 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 more, one more for the road. One more for the road. You, you know when people say one more for the road, they never actually take it on the road. Yeah, yeah. They always drink it before going on the road. Uh, if it's one more for the road, shouldn't you actually take it on the road with you? That, that would make more sense. But then you could spill it. God forbid any of those drops fall on the ground. All right. What do you think about this brand new Betraying the Martyrs swan song? It had a lot of, you know, twists and turns. Especially at the start, like, you know, after just cutting straight to um, kind of more of a mellow field after being so heavy. I thought you were going to say that, oh, I thought this was going to be a Lord of the Lost cover. But, okay. No, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you didn't think about that at all? All right, no. never mind. Um, but yeah, you know, switching to that kind of, you know, caught me off guard. But then it intrigued me on where they were going. And then they kind of went back to what they were doing before. And the song was really good. I mean, I like his, obviously I love his uh, clean vocals. And the way he's able to use them um in such an in such a beautiful way you know having those hitting those high notes while also you know sometimes just using it as a I, I don't know using it as part of just the melody of the song um and then his harsh vocals are also some something that are amazing i mean I, I, I think the clean vocals really set up the the harsher side of his vocal range like yeah. i i feel like the way he uses his clean vocals it kind of kind of almost um, what he does is he creates a vocal breakdown, if you will. You know, sometimes you're listening to songs like this and you're waiting for that heavy breakdown to hit. And the way he transfers or the way he transports the listener from his clean to harsh vocals or harsher vocals, I, I should say, it almost feels like a breakdown of sorts. You, know, It's almost like he starts to kind of pause or, or interject the way he's going about it and then suddenly boom he hits you with the heavier side of his range so i like i like that he backs yeah like it, 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 it feels like every single time he was coming you could tell it was coming because he was kind of telegraphing it but he's doing it in a very cool way that allows that doesn't the song take anything off of that you know no, it, knowing it, what's gonna happen no it doesn't take anything away from it it actually gets you more excited because you know it's coming it's, it's coming yeah. so it actually builds up a little bit more of excitement so i like that vocal approach that he does specifically on this track in terms of how he creates like vocal breakdowns, if you will, moving from the cleans to the harsh vocals, it's really interesting and it works really well. It, it gives some jolts of energy to the to the song, because overall the song was always down here, was very melancholic, was very at the bottom. So you really needed some some of those jolts of energy to kind of bring you up every so every so often. Otherwise, it would stay too stagnant, too at the bottom, and you don't you don't you don't necessarily want that. But I felt the song was you know dynamic enough to not really give me too much of one thing or too much of the other uh in the beginning maybe it has a little bit more of a stretch it's a little bit more melancholic a little bit more lower but once he starts coming that coming up with a, a little bit more aggression in his voice and the song musically also becomes a little bit more aggressive and from that point on becomes a lot more dynamic it becomes less uniform so i, I like his style i like the song i like the sound uh I, i've been a fan of his vo vocals since we did the previous video so uh, I think he has a, a nice tone, a nice tonality to, to his voice, specifically with the cleans. Yeah. I, I feel like the harsh vocals, not to take anything away, but I, you know, I'm with you. I, I tend to judge it more on how the cleans come across. Yeah. Because the harsh vocals or the screaming vocals, they kind of blend in into the aggression that the song has. But if you can't carry the track vocally with your clean, with the from clean the side of your range side. from a melodic side... You're not gonna sell me on the song just with a harsher side either. You yeah. need, you need the other one in order. You need one to set up the other. Yeah. You know. So the other one, like the harsh vocals, could be okay, but you need to have really good clean vocals. Yeah, they don't have to be outstanding, but the clean vocals is kind of what. The, if the clean vocals are really good, it, it the 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 harsh vocals automatically are gonna sound phenomenal in the in that mix. Exactly. It's gonna be very hard to fuck it up. But uh, uh, I, I like his delivery. I like his style. I like the tonality, and the song has great sound. It's it's a it's similar in some ways in terms of the atmosphere to the previous single that they released. The previous single had a little bit of a somber nature to it, had really melodic stretches with some heaviness as well. There's a lot of similarities in terms of the atmosphere, essence, the mood that the song puts you in. Neither one of these songs are like guns blazing from the beginning, like heavy breakdown right away, like yeah, fucking yeah. mayhem. Neither one of them give you that at all from the start. So there's a lot of similarities on how the two songs build you up. And there's a lot of similarities in terms of how they deliver the track in terms of the dynamic mechanisms that the songs have. I enjoyed both. 
I enjoy both. I enjoy both too. All right. Uh, anything else you want to add before we go on this one song, Betraying the Martyrs? I think we've... Once again, they're going to be at Dark River Festival, playing there in our home away from home. Uh, it's a great lineup. I, Monuments is playing there. Septic Flesh is playing there. Wolfheart is playing there. Uh, it's a who's who. It's a Hypocrisy is playing there. Fuck, it's a great festival. Great festival. Don't miss it. You get to see these guys live. Uh, and if you're if you're in the Kotka area, you've pretty much seen them live in your backyard. So you definitely don't want to miss that. All right, we'll see you folks at the next video. Take care. See ya.